This department is the highest pressure uh, job in the company. This stuff will wear you out. You know, this team was in front of customers all the time, on deadline. Uh, they had to present to our executive team, sometimes our board. So high pressure, and the culture needed to change as well. We were looking for a rhythm, a heartbeat, a culture, a rallying cry. Something that was proven, um, something that gave us a framework, something that we could live by every day. And then we needed to you know, bring somebody in to help us learn and, and teach the team how to, you know, how to work together. And we realized we had to move quick. We didn't have a whole lot of time. So we went out and we looked at your traditional consulting firms. There was a lot of stuff out there that touched on either part of this dynamic, but there was nothing that, was, that really left us with a way of life. The Foley uh, program and the uh, performance framework and all those things were um, really critical to us. A big part of it was that positive energy um, and the reality, you know, how it worked in the past and uh, worked within the military, worked within the Blue Angels. Um, all of that was uh, what kind of made the light bulb go off for, for all of us. And we said, wow, we got to talk to we got we to talk to them. It was great. I mean, it, it was nothing but positive. It was positive energy. It was great. I think that's the beauty of the, the framework itself is that you can, it adapts to what you're doing. It is, it is all about real leadership, right? And that's what we needed. It, you know, the brief and the debrief are easy for people to get their arms around. However, typically people go to a debrief, it's more of, okay, this is what we did wrong, right? And this isn't that. So it, it will drive higher performance when you get people thinking in a positive way and you have a positive learning culture people will perform at a higher level. And the overall experience was so positive. If I put it in two words, one's passion about what they do, right? Um, clearly, it's very successful. And then the, rea the realness of it. I mean, realness would be the second word. I mean, what they did is real. I mean, they, they did it with the Navy, they did it with the Blue Angels, and they changed performance. I think it's grown me as a leader. Um, I've learned the more, I would say more of the cultural side. It's easy to attack tactical things, but you could also move a big mountain with a big culture change. The biggest reward was the culture shift. People really feeling good about what we're doing, and that's really what got me kind of exceeding expectations, right? I, I knew we'd, we'd hit the tactical stuff, but watching people react to the culture shift and, uh, and actually as leaders thanking us, you know, for creating an environment where we can shift the culture and that was very, very positive. Hi, I'm Steve Silverman, and I'm glad to be here.